Hi again everyone. We back to you again in the same topic matrices. But today's topic today's topic is a little hard, especially for the second part. I need you to focus and to repeat this video as many times you can till you understand it. Because I will give you problems and you gonna try to solve it. You are more than welcome to our place. And I like, I, I, I want to connect these videos together. Uh, now, what we're going to do today, we're going to find the inverse of 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrices. And later on in the future, I will show you how we're going to use the concept of the inverse into solving matrices. Then, this also very important in linear algebra. Very important. If you're taking linear, linear algebra in college, you will have the same type of problem. The plus is very important to our student in pre-calculus. Welcome again and let us start. Let us start. See what we're going to do. We're going to start with the easy part. We're going to start with the easy part of inverse, which is find the inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. Simple and easy. As long as we know from before, the concept of the determinant and I need you to go back and to review the determinant concept to understand this very well. Look here, we're going to find the inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. This 2 by 2 matrix example has four elements. A11 is 2, A12 is negative 2, A21, look here, 2, 1, second row, first column. A11, first row, first column. A12, first row, second column. This guy, 2, 1, second row, first column. This guy, 2, 2, second row, second column. What I have to do, the first step to find the inverse, which is to find the determinant. What, the, something done before. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 3 times negative 2, 8 minus negative 6, 40. Good. Leave this in the side. We need it. Now, the second step, very important. Look what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do. We're going to switch all of these two elements. You see this 2 and 4? Look at the 2 and 4. We change 4 to the 2, 2 to the 4. But these don't touch it. 3 and negative 2 don't leave it in their place. The same place. Leave it in the same what? The place in the same place. But switch the sign. If it's negative, make it positive. If it's positive, make it negative. That's it? No, that's not. Determinant we found, which is 14, we switch the place of the first and the last, then we change the sign of the other diagonal. Okay. Guess what? We're going to divide each term of these by the determinant. Each term of these by the determinant. Okay. Mm -hmm. 4 over 14, which is the determinant. Okay. D divide the new by the determinant of A, which is 14. 2 over 14, negative 3 over 14, negative 3 over 14, 2 over 14. 2 over 7, 1 over 7, negative 3 over 14, you cannot do anything. 2 divided, go, 2 goes to 2 one time, 2 goes to 14, 7 times. Then this is my A inverse. This is the inverse. How I know if this is my A inverse? Okay, look, you have to check your answer. Check by multiplying. Check your answer by multiplying A times A inverse, which is what I did here. Look, this is the A, 2, negative 2, 3, and 4. And this is my A inverse, the, the one I just found. How you multiply? Look what I did. I, I divided it for you here to see it. Sorry, I moved this. I should not move it. Okay. Now, you see this guy here? Look what I'm going to do. This guy here, 2 and negative 2. You take it from here. Right? And you go to this guy here vertically. 
Wow. Okay. Do you see? You, you need, flip it. The 2 going to multiply by the 2, 7 becomes 4, 7. And the negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 will be 6. Right? Over what? 40. Good? This is the first guy we need. Again, we're going to repeat this is this is step by the second what? column. Here. We're going to take these two guys, 2 and negative 2, bring them here, rotate them, 2 times 1 over 7, 2 over 7, negative 2 over 7. Okay. We're going to repeat this step for the other guy. It's not fair to do it for one guy, right? We have to do it for both guys. This guy here. 3, 4. 3 times 2. 6 over 7. 4 times negative 3. Negative 12 over 7. The same thing. 3 times 1. 3 over 7. 4 times 1. 7 for 7. Let us go here. What for this 7 and this one? 14. I'm going to multiply. You cannot add. You have to have the same denominator. Right? You're going to have the same what? Denominator. Here. 2 and 2 and here 2 and here what? 2 here the same denominator ok what's going to happen now? 4 times 2 is 8 plus 6 14 over 14 is 1 6 times 2 12 minus 12 is 0 wow 2 minus 2 is 0 3 plus 4 7 over 7 is 1 if you got the diagonal ones and the rest is zero, that means you are what? Check, you are right. Good? Okay. Let us go to the hard part. Now let us see what we're going to do with the inverse of 3 by 3 matrix. I know from my students, most of the kids have problem dealing with these guys. Okay. I tried my best to make it easy as much as I can. Okay, what we need to do? Find the inverse of A of A. The inverse of A means A to the negative one. The first step, before you start anything, to, you have to find which one? The determinant. And I did the determinant. Here I did the determinant. I did explain it in the last video. Again, it's here. You take the one. You do, again here, this one guy. You delete this row and this column, 1 times negative 2, negative 2, 4 times negative 3, negative 12. I advise you guys to go to the first matrices video in my as, as tutoring and see how we find the determinant and I explained it very well. I explained it very well. Now 3, the same thing, the sign plus minus, you delete this column, this row, Two and right and four and negative two and negative two. Two times negative two is negative four. Four times negative two is negative eight. The same thing for two. You cancel this and this. This and two times negative three is negative six minus negative two. We have one times ten. Negative three times four. Two times negative four. Negative ten. What in either you have three by three, three or two by two? You have. You have to start always by finding the determinant of your matrix, either 2 by 2 or 3 by 3. Okay. Let us go and keep going. This is the first step. The second step, something we need to find. Something we need what? to find. Which is... e to the t, e to the t. B, I'm sorry, just one second guys. Let me just fix something. Hold with me one second.
we need to find transpose of the matrix. We need to find the transpose of the matrix. I use the first letter T, transpose of the matrix A, which is A to the board T, transpose, transpose. We need to find the transpose of the matrix A. Okay. What we need to do, look what I did. I meant to do it in a different colors, which is, we see the first row, one, three, and two, we make it column. You see the second row, T, one, and four, we make it column in black. Negative two, negative three, negative two, we make it column. Fair enough? Change the column by the rows. Column, rows. One, two, negative two. Or you can do, look here, you can take the column, one, two, negative two. One, two, negative two. Three, one, negative three. Three, one, negative three. Two, four, negative two. Two, four, negative two. Any, any way you want. Or you can take the row, one, three, two, make it column, one, three, two. 2, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4. Okay, good. Let us keep going and see what we're going to do. We, we're going to find the final, something in you. Step 2, find the minor of each element. What I mean by the minor. Look, it's long, but it's easy. Long, it's easy. What I mean by the minor. You see this element A? The first one, the first element one, this guy. Okay. You delete everything underneath it and everything cross. What left? One, negative three, four, and negative two. One, negative three, four, and negative two. Go to the second guy. Two. The same thing. You delete everything underneath it. And everything cross. What left? Three, negative three, two, negative two. Then you go to the their friend, the negative two. You delete everything underneath it and everything cross. What left? Three, one, two, and four. You're gonna repeat this tip all the way to where? To the here. You go to the three. You delete everything cross, everything here, left two and negative two, four and negative two. Wow. You go to the two. You go to the two. This guy. Which one are you going to cancel? You're going to go up, like an example here, and here. What are you going to end up? Two and one, negative two and negative three. Go back to this guy. We did this guy. Let us go to this one. One. Which one are which one we going to eliminate? Uh -huh. We're going to eliminate this here, 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 or the one. We have one, negative two and 2 and negative 2. You see that? Go to this guy, the 4. Which one we going to make the 4? Let us see which color we're going to use. This guy, the 4. You're going to cancel everything here, everything here, everything here. 1, negative 2, and 3, and negative 3. 1, negative 3, 3, negative 3. The same thing for this guy, negative 2. The same thing. You go up and down, you have one, two, right? One, two, three, and one. Go choose anyone. Negative three here. Choose anyone. All what you have to do, just go across. Go here. What left? One, two, two, and four. One, two, two, and four. Okay. Now the step after we did it a lot to find the determinant for each one. One time negative two is negative two. Negative three times four. I'm gonna do. I did one here for you. Let's see that in the top. One time negative two is negative two minus. Four times negative three is negative twelve. Negative and negative positive. Negative two plus twelve give you what? Ten. I did this for you, also. Three times negative two is negative six. Minus. Negative three times neg negative six. Two negative becomes what? Tell me, guys. Two negative turn to what? Two negative, positive. Negative two plus six is zero. I did this also. Three times four is 12, minus two, which is 10. The same for all of them. Then this give you four, this give you two, this give you zero. Let us check uh, randomly this guy. Ne one time negative one, one time negative two, negative two. I'm gonna do it. One time negative two. I'm gonna do this guy. 
negative 2 minus negative 4. Negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. Good job. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the 5. Let me see the 5. 1 times 1. 1 times 1 is 1 minus 6. Negative 5. Okay. Okay. We have now the minor, minor of each element. We found it here. What next? Now, this we call it what? The trans, right? The transpose matrix. 10, 0, 10, 4, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 5. What you need to find now? You need to find the, a, a, a joint, a joint matrix. A joint, a joint matrix. A joint matrix. To find a joint matrix, Look what you're gonna do. Something simple and easy. Uh, you have to use this sign chart. You see, plus, minus, plus. Minus, plus, minus. Plus, minus, easy. Plus, minus, plus. Plus, minus, plus. If you have plus here, minus, plus. If you have minus, plus, minus. If you have plus, minus, plus. With this, which is me. You see this guy here? You're gonna apply this sign chart in here. I applied it for you. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, in red, here, the red ones. Okay, what does this mean? Mean, this stays 10, I can write it for you here. Okay, what, no change. Ten zero the negative does not affect the zero. Ten negative four two zero. Don't tell me the zero effect from negative and negative five. Okay. This is my matrix. A joint a joint matrix. Now look here what we're gonna do. Look to this and this. To find to find the inverse of the matrix to find the inverse you have to find to divide the adjoint matrix which is this guy by the determinant which is we found it before negative 10 my determinant of a is equal to a negative 10 my determinant of a is equal to negative 10 then 10 divided by negative 10 0 divided by 10 10 divided by negative 10 each term you divide by negative 10 by negative 10 by negative 10 then we divide each term by negative 10 10 over negative 10, negative 1. 10 over negative 10 is negative 1. 0 over negative 10 is 0. 10 over negative, negative 1, negative 4. This look here positive. 2 and 5. Negative 1, 5. This is 0. Negative and negative positive. 2 over 5. 3 over 10. Negative 5 over negative 10 is 1 half. Good? This is my A inverse. This is my answer. That's so nice. Now, let us check our answer. Maybe we are not right. You'll see something. Now, we're going to take multiply A times A inverse. This is A and this A inverse. As I did for you before by 2 by 2. You take this guy, this row, 1, 3, and 2. You flip it and you multiply it by each term here. 1 times negative 1 here. 3 times 2 over 5 and 2 by 2 over 5. I did it for you here. Negative 1 plus 6, 5 plus 4, 5. Then again, you repeat this step for this guy here. 1 times 0. 3 times negative 1, 5, negative 3, 5. 2 times 3, 10, 6, 10. Then again, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 3 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 half is 1. You repeat this step for this guy, 2, 1, 4. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 1 times negative 5, negative 2, 5. 4 times 3, 10. Right? Mm -hmm. 4, negative 2, right? Here. Then, here, you multiply 10 over 5, right? Okay. Then, again,
then this by here, 12 over 10. Then again, you go to this card here, 2 times 0 is 0, 1 times negative 5, negative 1, 5, 4 times 3, 12 over 10. Then again, 2 times negative 1, negative 2, 1 times 0 is 0, 4 times half is 2. Again, here 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, 1 times 2, 5, 2, 5, 4 times 2, 5, 8, 5, 2 times 0, 0, 1 times negative 1, 5, negative 1, 5, 4 times 3, 10 is 12, 10. We do the same step for here. Negative 2 times negative 1, guys, 2. Negative 3 times negative 2, negative 6 over 5. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4 over 5. Negative 2 times 0, 0. Negative 3 times negative 1, 3 over 5. Negative 2 times 3, negative 6 over 10. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 2 times 1 half, negative 1 half. That, now, after that's arithmetic. I did all the arithmetic. This added 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Which is what we need. 1. Diagonal has to be 0. Only diagonal has to be 1's. The rest of the term has to be what? 0's. Otherwise, we are wrong. This is what we have to have. The rest has to be 0. Now, before I leave you, I'm going to give you your homework to do. Something to practice. You have to try to do this. Find A inverse for the following. You have to try it. You have to find, try it. A equals negative 2, 3, 2, 1. Or state it does not exist. Maybe it not, does, does not exist. That's all what we have for today. Be safe. And if you have any question, again, if you have any question, please contact us at your convenience, subs at your convenience subscribe. And just to remind you, you can contact us anytime at this Gmail, or you can send text message to this phone number. And subscribe as as tutoring and have a nice